Welcome to this course on CATIA. In this lecture, we are going to start a new module in CATIA that is sketch modeling. In the sketch modeling, we will know how to draw the lines. So first of all, we will learn how to go to the sketch mode. To go to the sketch mode, click on the start icon, click on the start and go to mechanical design. In the mechanical design, go to sketcher option. So click on the sketcher. We need to insert a part name. So right now I am taking this as a default part one and then click OK. And now we have to fit in the screen properly. Click on this icon of fit all in and then click on isometric view. To turn off this grid display, go to view option and click on ground. In the working space, we can see we have three default datum planes that is XY plane, YZ plane and ZX plane. So we are going to create sketch on one of these plane. So to go to the sketch mode, we have to click on this icon of sketch, click on the sketch and now we have to select a plane. So let's say I'm selecting this plane that is XY plane. So click on this plane and now we can see the 3D view has been rotated to a 2D view. Onto this 2D, we are going to create our sketches. On the right side, we can see the command panel. In the command panel, in the bottom side, we can see the option of line. So when I click on this arrow of the line, click on this arrow, we can find line, infinite lines, bitangent lines, bisecting lines and line normal to curl. We are going to start with this basic line. Click on this line option. On the top side, we can see the option of grid and snap to point. If I turn on this option of grid, we can see we have grid display. By this snapping option, snap point to point. If I turn on this snap to point, we can snap the corner point of the small rectangles. So right now I'm turning them off. So turn off this grid display and turn off this snap point. As we know, to draw a line, we need to reference point. So click in somewhere, click here. And we have defined the first point of the line. And now drag the mouse. When I drag the mouse, we can see preview of a line. So we need to select a second point. So click here. And this is the second point of the line. And now we can see the preview of a line. So click somewhere outside. And now this is the line. And now to insert the dimension into this line, click on this icon of constraint, select this constraint option and now select the line. So click on this line and now we can see preview of the dimension. So just place the dimension, take the cursor and then left click. So in this way we can insert the dimension. We can also change the value of this dimension. Just make a double click on the dimension and insert the value. Suppose I insert this value 15 and then click OK. So in this way we can change the length of the line. So we can continue making the line. So click on this line icon and select the line option. To select the first point, we can also select the reference point or any end point. So this time I will select the end point of this line. So take the mouse onto this end point. We can see right now this end point is highlighting. So click here and then drag the mouse. Once again, we need to select a second point. So let's say I'm selecting the second point here. Click here and click somewhere outside. Once again, I go to line command and click on this line. And this time, this is the first point and the end point of the line will be the second point. So select the second point and then we can also press escape to exit from the command. So in this way, we can create a series of lines. So to undo these lines, we can click on this option of undo, undo empty selection and the shortcut key is control plus Z. So click this undo once again, again and again. Once again, I go to this line option, click on this line. And this time, suppose I'm selecting this origin as a center. 
so this is the first point of the line this origin and when i drag the mouse we can see so let's say i am dragging the mouse to a horizontal direction so when i drag the mouse we can see this line is turning blue it means that this time the line is horizontal so i am clicking here and we can see the sign of h so h means it is a horizontal line so once again i click on this line option and then select this first point and drag the mouse and when the line is turning blue we can see this time it is a vertical line so i click here and we can see the symbol of v so this v means vertical line after that we can also make a line at some angle so once again i select this line option and select this first point and this time i am making this line at some angle from this top we can see end point so we can select starting point and end point as we know to define a line we need two coordinates of x and y so we we can define this coordinate value and then we have value of l so this l is length of the line and then a so a is the angle of the line so this time suppose i insert this value of angle this angle is 45 and the length of the line i am selecting 5 and press enter and now we can see we have drawn a line that is at an angle of 45 and the length is 5 okay so once again i go to this line option and click on this line this time i am going to draw the line with respect to coordinate system so in this coordinate system we can define two position horizontal and vertical so i am starting with horizontal so this value is 0 press tab from the keyboard or we can also switch to this vertical once again 0 press enter so this 0 0 is the starting point so we can see the starting point of the line is defined and then we need to define the second point of the line so we can define the second point by x y axis or we can define it by length or angle so this time i am specifying the coordinate value so this value is 10 press enter press tab and then 10 press enter and now we can see the coordinate of this end point will be 10 and 10 this is 10 and this 10 horizontal and vertical so in this way we can draw different types of line so i am undoing all these options click on this undo and click on this undo all and click on this undo multiple times to draw a series of line if we don't want to exit from the line command what, what we have to do is go to this line and make a double click on this line command so make a double click and now we can draw a series of lines so select this first point second point and now we can continue making the lines once again select this first point second point and then keep on continue making the line select the first point and end point so in this way we can make a series of line so to exit from the command press escape key from the keyboard so undo this once again so i go to line command and click on this line and i draw a line once again draw a line like this from this first point to second point and then once again i go to line command and click on this line and then select this line and then make a right click in the bottom option we can see the option of that is set as angle reference so when i select this option of set as angle reference we can draw a line up to some angle reference so just well insert the value of angle suppose this time i am inserting the angle value that is 75 press enter and then drag the mouse so i click here so we can take it on the bottom side or on the top side so i am taking on the top side click here and now we can see this time the angle value is measured as the reference of first line see this angle is measured from this point up to this end point so this angle is 75 degree so that is the advantage of defining this parameter as an angle 
in the similar way we can also make the symmetric lines so i go to this lines option and click on this symmetric line and then click on this line option in the top side we have option that is called symmetric extension so click on this symmetrical extension click on this end point of this line and now we can see when i drag the mouse this line is extending from both directions so it means this line is a symmetric line so click here in this way we can make the symmetric lines